Alright hey guys and welcome back to another quick play. Today we're taking a look at a game called Hani on the Road and this is for the PC Engine and it's a hue card format. Now this is a game that uh, if any of you are keeping track I picked up at this past PAX Prime in Seattle when I was going game hunting with the guys and I found this in a stack of games in a cabinet in a old school vintage record and video game store. They had these locked away in a cabinet, and you know, I asked the guy, "Could I see them?" And, and they'd be—they've been sitting in there for years. And uh, I was initially very drawn to the cover of this game, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pick that up along with a handful of other games. And tonight, I'm getting around to trying it out for the first time. Now, before recording this, I did play the game for about one minute just to get a grasp of what's going on before I go into uh, the recording here. And I have to say, I was pretty impressed with what I played. So, what do you say we get started? And this is from a developer called Face. Yeah, a very weird name for a developer. And they've done a couple other games on the PC Engine. Uh, this is the... Oh, died already. So, <laughs> I can tell this is going to be one of those games where it's not easy to talk and play at the same time. So the concept is pretty simple. Um, the levels have these four planes here. And the enemies will come down from the right to the left. You can jump over them like that, which is a bit tricky to do. Or you can sort of kick them unsuccessfully, like I just did. And your goal is to just collect items and uh, get extra lives and make it to the end of the road to advance to the next stage. So this is about all I've played uh, before doing the recording, so I'm kind of going to be learning this game as I go along here. And um, what's interesting is that the different planes each have different scroll speeds I'm noticing. So the bottom, uh, the bottom plane scrolls the fastest, while the top scroll the slowest and dead already. I can tell this might be a game that gets pretty hard later on, but we'll see how far I can get here. So this is just basically increasing my score. There is a time limit. And I'm not exactly sure what the blue things are doing for me. I see they're increasing my score, but I'm not sure if they have a purpose beyond anything but that. I have to say, the graphics in this are very charming. Uh, really nice sprite work, actually. They're pretty detailed. I can't really say that they're well animated, but they, they definitely do the job for what the PC Engine was capable of. Ca uh, pretty colorful. And the music, catchy. Does a nice job of setting the mood for this very strange game. The main character, I have to say, is, is quite unique. <laughs> um, he could look like a multitude of things, and I'll leave that up to your imagination, but he is a very weird-looking main character. I just missed an extra life. I'm assuming they're probably going to put a lot of extra lives on the bottom, fastest scrolling plane. It seems like you need really good timing to hit these enemies with your, your kick. And we've reached the end of the road. On to the second stage. And since this is a PC Engine exclusive, this game was never released in America. So this will be in actual Japanese text, and as usual, I just want to say that this is being played on a PC Engine Duo RX with uh, the physical game cue card. This is not emulation. Alright, so we got a different soundtrack, and this time, interestingly enough, the planes are not auto-scrolling, so they're all fixed speed right now, which is actually making this a heck of a lot. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> it's making it slightly easier. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Let's grab a time up. Taking my time here. Because I did read that this game, however, if you do lose all your lives, you go back to the very beginning of the game. So, it's, uh, it's a little unforgiving in that aspect. I'm going to assume that the time limit in this level is probably pretty important since it seems like you can take your time. Okay, maybe not. Like I said, guys, learning as we go. Okay, so I get to choose the next level. I'm not sure if this brown thing looks more interesting or this pink-looking thing up here, so let's go with the pink-looking thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, well, okay. So it's going the opposite way now. Oh, man. This is going to be tough to time the jumps. Let's see where it starts me. 
Yep, so it starts me at the very beginning. This is gonna be interesting. And hopefully not too repetitive for you guys. God damn it. Not off to a good start here. The different scroll speeds are really getting me, and the timing to hit these enemies is pretty tricky as well. I think the best strategy I'm gonna do is stay on this plane here and wait until I see an important item. And then try and move down to collect them. Because it seems if I if I go on the bottom plane or this this plane here, it goes so fast that it's gonna be pretty tricky to stay alive there. Okay, and if you don't get rid of these enemies, they will come back, so actually it's kind of a Oh my god! It's kind of important that I take care of them. Now there is an extra life right there. Ha. Huh. It's gonna be pretty important, I see, to staying alive in this game. I'm not sure if you get extra lives from getting points or not. This level is luckily fairly easy. No extra lives, though. But I'm gonna take my time, because I don't want to waste anything. Oh my god! I hit the button, too. Timing, guys, in this game... It's, it's pretty precise. Which is fine, it's a challenging game. It, it looks like it's only got a few levels to go through, so... You know, replay-wise, gotta have some challenge to it. Now, interesting enough, this this guy, uh, this character also has... I'm not sure if he has any others, but... He does have a side-scrolling shoot -em up on the PC Engine as well. Hani in the Sky, I believe was the name of it. So, maybe in the future we'll check that out. back to the other level. You know what? I think I'm gonna try the other path just to see what leads, uh, what comes in here. Oh, okay. Danger. That's always a good sign. Oh, boy. I think I chose the wrong level. <laughs> oh, God. That is... That is tough. Alright, back to the very beginning again. Not choosing that path this time. All right. All right, this time we're putting the serious gamer face on, and I'm gonna try not to die once. Just gonna take our time. Timer kicks just perfectly, and I gotta try and remember the time when that extra life pops up, so I can remember to know when it's coming up, so I can anticipate it. God! <sighs> Alright, now I don't feel a good start. Oh my god. I almost feel just tempted to... Yeah, let me just... Kill myself. Start over. It's one of those games where you just... You can't afford to die in the first level here. All right. I mean, interestingly enough... Um, Seems like it might be pretty frustrating to. Oh, that was close. To die in this game, but. It's fairly fun, so I'm actually not too bothered from uh, the deaths, because they're not cheap deaths. It's, it, it is one of those games where it's, it is based on skill and timing. It is definitely not the game's fault. When I die, it is totally my fault. Your life is coming up soon. Oh man, that, that scrolling path down there, it's... Oh, oh, got it. It's very hard to uh, judge the jumps. Because you have to take into account that the, the floor is scrolling with you, so your jumps aren't going to be as far as you think they are. 
and uh, I'm sure some of you have noticed that in the bottom there is a, a two-player option, so you can do this game two-player. One person plays as Hani, one person plays as Lemon. And I'm not sure how it works with two players. Um, I'm sure it's probably not that easy, since it seems like the game f scrolls at a fairly fast pace, so your friend will really have to try and keep up with you. And for the sake of this quick play, uh, I'm not going to go for all the score items. I kind of just want to see where this game goes, what kind of wacky characters it introduces. So I'm just going to try and survive. That's going to be my main goal here. Now I could jump over these guys, but... Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get the timing down just right on the jump kick. This guy looks like he can make a good Pokemon. So if, uh, if Nintendo is ever looking for new Pokemon designs, they should probably go back into the... or old characters, for that matter, in this game. They should check out this game and get some good ideas for uh, future Pokemon designs. Alright, now here's this crazy-ass level. Let's see if I can even kick... Oh, alright, good. I was gonna say, if I can't drop kick these guys, I'm in trouble. Now, this looks pretty impressive. The, the scrolling in this game is actually pretty damn cool looking. I have to say, one of my little um, personal favorite touches in old school games is parallax scrolling. I just think it's such a cool effect. Parallax scrolling, and I've always been a fan of faked 3D, so games like Zaxxon and Viewpoint and everything like that, I love the isometric faked 3D look that those games bring on. Now, I am not even going to attempt for that extra life, because I don't know how you're supposed to grab that. I would fall off these clouds in a second. Alright, doing fairly well so far. Don't ask me what these things are supposed to be. They, they look like a cross between, like, Kirby and Fred Flintstone or something. Alright, level 3 down. And now we move on to green dragon looking things. Green turtle looking duck things. I'm telling you, the enemy designs in this game are actually pretty awesome. The character designer for this game has definitely got a very um, unique sense of style, that's for sure. This reminds me of Frogger. What is this? Oh. Oh boy. Oh my god. Damn, this game's intense. Oh man. This is like Frogger Ultimate. Ooh, there's an ability that just killed everything. This game's getting better and better, actually. I, I thought it was just going to be pretty simple with... Um, oh, no items thrown into the mix. Goddamn. But it's getting pretty interesting with all these different items I'm picking up now. <laughs> I'm pretty into it, guys. I have to say, I like Honey on the Road. <laughs> I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Simple arcade fun. Ooh, bonus stage. Ooh, what the hell is this? I guess that's an item you don't want to pick up? <laughs> okay. because that is definitely not helping me. Damn it, honey, let go of this damn thing. I'm trying to... No, oh, I guess I'm stuck with it. No! <laughs> Alright, the Cave of Doom. Oh, there's Lemon. I'm not sure if I should let those cutscenes play out or not, but for the sake of time, we will advance since uh, we can't read Japanese. Oh, extra life! Ah, oh, mother goddamn. No! Oh my goodness. 
the most simple looking level with no enemies is turning out to be the most complex. <laughs> awesome music in this stage, though. Oh my god, the jumps in this are devilish. Because Hani has a little bit of a slide to him when he moves. I've got one life left, guys. If I die, it's game over. Oh, another extra life, but that looks way too hard to get. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, oh okay. Guess this is like second chance. You fall in the pit and you go to hell, I guess. Oh my goodness. This game that, like, tests all your platforming skills. I have to say, the it's actually pretty tight jumping, like... At least here, I'm having a pretty... Ah! Uh, fairly easy time landing my jumps. When does this end? Oh my god, that's tough. Well, guys, because now it makes me start... Oh no, wait, what do I have, a checkpoint? I can go back to the Cave of Doom. Alright, let's try that again. Let's actually watch this and see if anything unfolds. Just to see if there's, uh... Any little characters that come into play here, if it's all Japanese text. Oh, okay. So there is some kind of story to this game. But I can't tell you what it is. Let's skip ahead. Oh, no, it skipped ahead for me anyway. Alright, let's do this. Extra life, should we go for it? Yes, we should. Extra time, get. be devilish if you can switch planes in midair, but that's not the case. Oh, another extra life. Let's go f Oh, shoot, I remembered you can't switch planes in midair. Never mind. See, you now technically, couldn't you stockpile extra lives if you got both of the extra lives in this level and just died and Oh no, I'm sorry, that's right. I was thinking that every time I die it resets me back, but that's not the case. Ooh, boss time. Bosses, I didn't know there were bosses in this game. Um, let's see what this guy does first. I guess I gotta kick him? Yep. Not sure how many hits this guy takes. There we go. Mid boss. Oh no, final boss. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah, this game's going old school. Mid boss, end stage boss. Alright. Not sure what that is, but let's go with the, uh. Yeah, let's go with this Birdo looking thing. Oh boy, trap doors. Oh my. Holy Jesus Christ. <laughs> this game just ramped up in difficulty, that's for sure. Oh, you can knock it back. That. Ooh, this game is. This game's pretty brutal. Dodge that stuff, handy. Or handy, sorry. Now. 
they cry every time they spit out that blue ball. No, not here again. Oh my goodness. This is just evil. Oh my god. It's harder than it looks, guys, believe me. Well... Let's try this stage. Wow, okay. Looks like some kind of character from some kind of Japanese folklore, maybe? I don't really know. That mask looks familiar to me. But I don't think I'm gonna question the character's designs in this game any longer. Yeah, the scroll speeds now are just... I can't even keep up here. Let's try that one more time. Because now the top one is scrolling really fast and the bottom one is practically not even moving. Oh, you can, you can take this thing back if it rebounds. Did not know- oh, never mind. <laughs> Just totally lost that. If you jump, you lose it. What is this? Something. I don't know what that was. That was a bad choice. Alright, on to the next stage. I'm not sure if there's anything beyond um, those last blue and pink guys over there. Let's go here, because we did that green level guy already. Oh boy. That looks like the Thwomp block from Mario. Or you know what ones I'm talking about from Mario 64. <laughs> oh my goodness, these levels are always the hard ones. I think it's best if I just run really fast. Oh my god! I don't even know the mechanics on those guys. Well, I think that's a, a pretty good look at what Hani in the Road is all about. Uh, like I said, it, available exclusively on the PC Engine in Japan, and it's a Hue Card only game. It's, it's fairly uncommon it seems, um, but not too expensive. You should be able to get this for between $20 and $30, depending on condition and if it's complete or not. And maybe in the future we'll check out Hani's other game, the uh, Hani in the Sky Shoot'em Up. As always guys, thanks for watching.